Welcome to Sustainability Vignettes, Insights on Business 2030 with Wayne Dunn. Today's insight sets out six steps for integrating the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals into business strategy to drive profit and performance. Six steps for integrating the SDGs into your strategy. Companies ask me all the time, how do we integrate the SDGs into our strategy so that it fits with our business value strategy? And, and that's, that's key. The SDGs need to be much more than a social value strategy. At its heart, if you're going to embrace the SDGs, you need to integrate them as a way to enhance your business value strategy. Six steps, six things to do to, to get there. Let's go through them real, real quickly. First, know your purpose. Know your why. Why are you in business? And, and sure, you're in business to create value for shareholders. That's a given. Why, why else? Why does society want you to be in business? What good does your business do? Not what social value do you invest in? What good does your business do? Know that. Understand the purpose of your business. Understand what that purpose is, how important it is. Then take a look at what value your business is creating. The SDGs are a great framework for, for doing that. You know what your business is doing for your shareholders. What's it doing for the rest of, of society? Not because you want to be a do-gooder business, because you want to be a smart, strategic business and be as efficient as possible at creating value. So start out with a simple matrix. Put the 17 SDGs in 17 rows. Look at what your business is doing. Look, if you're a manufacturing business, Look at your supply chain, look at your operations, look at your hiring, look at your training, and look at what you're doing externally. Look at how you're impacting society, look at how you're investing in social issues, look at how you're getting better at managing environmental issues. So do that analysis, go down and, and just look at, at what you're doing and how that's creating value, how that's creating value for you as, as a business. Don't expect to have answers in every one, but it's going to give you a quick snapshot. That, that's step two. Step three, look at your stakeholders. Take the, take the same thing, look at what your business is doing and how is that important for your stakeholders. Look down the SDGs. Which of those SDGs are important for, for your stakeholders? Is it, is it an energy-related SDG? Is it a health or an education or, or a gender-related SDG? Which of those are, are most important for, for your stakeholders? Do that, take note of it, and, and set that to the side. Then look at your customers, your consumers. If you're a B2B business, if you're, uh, if you're selling to consumers, what, whatever you're doing, look at the SDGs, look at how they think of them. Think of what's in it on the SDGs. What are the value propositions for each of, for your customers, for your consumers and, and, and others. That gives you another step. So your next step is to look at your stakeholders. Which of your, the SDGs are important for your key stakeholders? And every business has different stakeholders. It might be customers, it might be investors, it might be your employees, it might be government, it might be communities. But, but look at your key stakeholders and just go down the 17 SDGs and note which of those are priority SDGs for, for your stakeholders, for different groups. What's important in it? What's their value interest? What's their strategic interest in those SDGs? So after you've looked at your interests of your stakeholders, You've got a matrix. You've got where your interests are, where your business interests are. You've got a uh, matrix that lists the key interests of your customers and consumers in relation to the SDGs. And you've got a matrix that lists the interests of your other stakeholders in relation to the SDGs. Look at that. Look for where there is overlap and, and, and commonality, where there's room for, for synergy because that's going to give you the sweet spots where you can do more for less. You can have greater impact for less resources. Taking it one step further, look at who else in the sort of general area 
where you're working. If it's a geographic area, if it's a sectoral area, look at who else. Maybe it's an industry group, maybe it's a consumer group, maybe it's an advocacy group, but look at who else may have interest in some of those key SDGs and, and see, where, is there opportunity for partnerships? Are there opportunities for synergy? How can we have more impact? When you finish this, you're going to have an understanding of how the 17 SDGs fit for your business, for your consumers, for your key stakeholders, how they fit for other influencers in, in your space, and you're going to see where those strategic opportunities are. Because they're not all created equal. What you want to do is find those places that optimize value. Find those places where you can align your business value with social value, with environmental stewardship, and by doing this sort of 360 degree analysis, you also find the places where you can bring in other resources, you can have greater impacts, you can leverage what you're doing for more impact on society, for more impact on environment, and for more positive impact for your business and shareholders. At the CSR Training Institute, we're here to help you do more, be more, and achieve more. Our goal is to make your business stronger, better, more resilient, and more competitive. For more information on how our team can support you, visit us at www.csrtraininginstitute.com or email our president and founder, Wayne Dunn, directly at wayne at csrtraininginstitute.com. Join us and create value and impact where business meets community.